alternates types of pod volumes as per 1.25 so in the previous session we have learned about the csi driver if this pod particular pod wanted to use this particular storage aws azure or gcp then we can use a csi driver storage class provisioner and ultimately you are mounting a persistent volume persistent volume claim so you can leverage dynamic provisioning by using a csi driver that's what the we learned so here the point is ultimately you are mounting to the pod next in the kubernetes you can have uh, many secrets and also we can mount these secrets to the containers as a volume and volume mount next if if i wanted to mount the cloud secrets or any of the certificates you can mount to the pod by using again csi driver ephemeral inline volumes so ultimately here you are mounting to the pod as a volume mount right so here storage and secrets and cloud secrets certificates etc so kubernetes pod point of view there are a volume plugin so here we are talking about the volumes so this is the what the today's topic kubernetes volume plugin point of view total three types first one is in three volume plugin second one is out of tree flex volume driver and other one is out of tree csi driver so and by the way first one in tree out of tree flex volume plugin are deprecated now only out of tree csi driver which we have learned only the csi driver was in the picture so now i'm out of curiosity what is this in tree out of tree volume plugins so let's try to understand that let's say there is a kubernetes code base right which is available in the github kubernetes right if i wanted to here currently i have a four volumes if i wanted to use another type as a pod volume like a previous slide so entry volume plugin is you have to implement by using a golang so here 1 2 3 4 if i wanted to add a fifth plugin you have to use a kubernetes code base modify and add that feature and raise a pr etc etc that's a entry volume so it will be bundled it will be tightly coupled with the kubernetes code base that's one second one is a out of tree so this out of tree is nothing but it is not integrated with the code base but you have to install a binary of this flex volume driver so what is this flex flex is basically a generic uh, storage provider where you have to install the binary in the kubernetes nodes and use it as a out of tree means it's not with the code but there is a some dependency hard dependency so these two are out of picture so in order to overcome all these things there is a csi was invented container storage interface which is a, a specs for container storage solutions now pod point of view how many types of volumes you can mount there is a pod and pod has multiple containers let's say one container and as a concept is volume and volume mount is in the container level volume is at the pod level first one for pod you can mount any kubernetes secret so i have a, a github basically yaml and under the pod volume right if you scroll down here this is a first secret here the point is first you will define a secret this one right this is the what the my secret and that secret is mounted as a volume here the secret and it particular mount path to the container that's how the this secret is mounted here and if this container wanted to use this particular secret it can refer to this particular path that's one now the second is a config map so config map is also same and the second example is here i have defined a config map which is a simple these are the key value pairs this config map also you can mount it at the pod level and that particular path is at the container level as a volume mount so here the difference is this and the first one is secret now for the kubernetes point of view host path 
so here host host is nothing but what it's a worker node so kubernetes means master node and worker node so worker node host path so if i look at the example third one is host path means you are using a volume of a physical path of the host you can use it as a read only or create permissions and you can mount it to the container as a particular path that's how the this host path now another one is empty directory this all we have seen in the cka and cks so especially the cka the uh, question ask on this so empty directory so empty directory is also the same like uh, but the difference is empty directory there is no specific place it will create by the th but the thing is some temporary space it will create and as soon as you delete the pod this volume will be deleted that's how the uh, empty directory and again the same it will be mounted here if container has a, if pod has a multiple container you can create a volume and share across that's how the empty directory and other one is a downward api so downward api so downward api is nothing but kubernetes demographic information as a pod volume so if you go to the kubernetes documentation there is a downward api this is what the, you just go go and search in a kubernetes documentation downward api so here i'll show you the an example as well downward api so what exactly this downward api is in the pod level this a pod right in the pod level i can mount a downward api as a volume like a pod ip i want as a volume i want a metadata label i want annotation i want a node name in the container how you will use so this downward api which is exposes the multiple values uh, and also if you wanted to use the request cpu memory etc and all you can mount it as a downward api and right and as a volume and as a volume mount you can use it in the container level so if container wanted to use anything you can use it so that's what the this downward api so now go back to the slide it's a pvc pvc nothing but persistent volume claim which is in the first slide we have seen right so persistent volume claim point of view this is also one of the cka topic first we will be defining a storage class with uh, one of the provisioner here aws ebs second is we will be creating with that particular storage class you will be defining a persistent volume then after that persistent volume claim you will create how much is my claim 3 gb only that claim you will attach to a pod as a volume and mount it to the container as a volume mount you will be specifying a mount path that's how the pvc is and other than that there is a local as well so local is point of view let's see the local persistent volume so what it means is you can leverage the local path of a host means this particular pod is scheduled on a say 100 worker nodes out of 101 worker node it's scheduled in that worker node the path of the its local path worker node is able to access that particular path and you can define a node affinity to you to, to should not repeat or maybe you have a hundred worker nodes and every worker node i wanted to store it in a some amount in particular some particular something uh, so you so for that use cases you can use that this is local but it's not recommended for the production now the csi which is a container storage interface as we have seen in the previous right this is a and if you wanted to use a cloud specific any storage you can use the csi driver and other one is a ephemeral right uh, csi ephemeral where the cloud specific storage as a temporary ephemeral means is a time being it's a short lived so you can mount the secrets from the cloud whoever is implement this csi you can mount it as a volume mount that's one and ephemeral point of view there is an example here yes this is the what the ephemeral right uh, so in the previous video i have explained about the csi and ephemeral please go and watch if anybody right and but this is what the example you can mount it here right now 
another one is a Ceph FS. So Ceph is a one of the company, and Ceph is a file system, same like AWS EFS. So if you go to the Ceph, uh, Ceph has a file system, right? It is a POSIX compliant built-in system, distributed uh, object and file store right so it has a feature and architecture is given right and its examples are available in the kubernetes examples right this and you have to install etc uh, whatever the self related dependency right. so example is here self point of view you have to uh, define as a volume right under volume self some monitors user secret traffic etc and you will mount it self point of view you can use a secret file and as a actual Kubernetes secret you can do it that's how the self one and go back to the slide now FCIA is called the fiber channel industry association uh, right it's a it will call as FCI as well so if you go to the an example this is a FC fiber channel there is a pod and pod level FC is uh, volume and these are the FC specific specifications here and you can mount it here and a fiber channel point of view yes there is a, an examples are here right so you in fact you can go and google uh, you will be able to find it on the this example the another one ISCSI so ISCSI is basically uh, a storage disk uh, solutions uh, over the IP address right uh, so attached to the again the same kubernetes host machine uh, and whenever the pod is deleted this particular volume is deleted and how it looks is this is the one and iscsi example i have taken from here in the kubernetes example right uh, not fiber channel not the cinder yeah not the flex this is a under kubernetes example so right its details are here it's a persistent storage right so yeah here you have to define iscsi specific configurations and you want to read only you can use the read only and mount it to the pod so this is a one of the solution and you can go and read here how it works and all now other one is nfs who are the linux professionals they know very well about this right uh, nfs is a network file system on the host if any of the nfs drive you wanted to use in a kubernetes then you can use this particular storage and how the yaml file looks like is like this same the pod pod level is a container and nfs and what is the nfs server and path etc you specify non mounted to pod and this container can use this that's a nfs and other one is a projected volume this is a, again the kubernetes uh, specific what exactly it means means combination of all the different kubernetes resources as a volumes means one two three four in a one specific yaml file how it is let's look at the example this is a part definition i am settling as a projected secret downward api config map and also i can add a service account as well all four in a one shot if really your pod require all four just to define in a one definition as a project and mount it so in this particular path everything is available at one location so if use cases requires you can use it that's one and other one is a self specific rado black device so it's a self this is a self file system this is a block device you go to the self documentation here i have opened here rado self block device right so it's again same like aws ebs volume it's a block device and its specific details are available here and if you want if you are curious to know the pod definition it is the same as a uh, until here the same only the thing is rbd radio or a black device under that you have to define a monitor pool image fs type etc etc uh, as per the radio fs documentation right and it is one of the provider so you can use it right yeah so these are the all the various active volumes which are available but some of the volumes are deprecated for 1.25 perspective so what are those one is a flex in the previous slide we have seen right uh, the flex is a generic volume so that was a deprecated and this is a aws 
azure azure and gcp these are the cloud specific disks earlier it was a tightly integrated so now completely removed deprecated uh, uh, right and there is a github repo git repo also one of the volume you can mount earlier but that one deprecated right and and by the way all the yaml files i have kept under the my deprecated folder here cinder flex volume right uh, so there is a uh, open stack cinder as well which is also one of the storage provider cluster fs and port rocks which is a storage provider vmware vnol vmware uh, vsphere is provided of another storage solution and flocker this is also one of the storage provider all right and photon persistent photon specific it's a persistent disk and storage os there is a storage os company as well you can google you will find it and also there is a scale io which is earlier by emc square but dell is acquired emc so dell emc is scale io last but not the least qo byte this is also one of the storage provider right so these all are duplicated up to 1.25 as at 1.25 these all are duplicated how to prove that go to the types of volumes in kubernetes documentation and just search for duplicated so you see all are the duplicated here right so you just click on a port rocks volume this is duplicated 1.25 and uh, vsphere in 1.19 right so a uh, github repo and there are other all are duplicated cinder duplicated 1.18 something like that and also there is another page which is called a persistent types of persistent volume there also here it's mentioned in which version it is not available and also what is the reason is these are the entry entry in the code right and right now you may be wondering yes these are the duplicated agree and the previous slide whatever there is active but if i wanted to really use this github repo as a volume how do i mount the solution is csi migration out of tree volume plugin so csi right so in the previous slide previous session we have understood so for the solution csi point of view if you go to the google and search for csi drivers you will land up in this particular page which has a very good documentation about the csi and all if you are really interested to explore csi this is a good page right so if you look at here ali cloud right uh, these are the all the driver csi drivers right ali cloud and etc right so here aws elastic file system right azure and b gfs there, there are many ceph see ceph also have a csi driver right so there are many kubefs sender right uh, and i'm just scrolling randomly dell emc right just i'm reading randomly uh, where you can just go and explore here right ibm right hyper v there are many intel specific etc right there are many more uh, longhorn and manila and netapp nfs so these are the all uh, are bounded to the csi container storage interface specification and some are persistent some are the ephemeral some are both ephemeral and persistent so depend on the driver capabilities you can achieve the what volume you wanted to mount to the pod right so yeah that's it for this particular session point of view i hope this session is helpful for you uh, and you learned something new and thank you for listening and let me know your feedback in the form of a comments subscribe comment like share thanks for watching bye bye